Hello, this is Wampire. Uh, for today's lesson, I want to show you guys an actual Eskrima technique for the security umbrella. Now, before I get into that, let me talk about the deal that was offered to me, okay? So, uh, the people at the security umbrella, they sent this to me. So, may, let me make that clear cut, okay? They sent this to me, and they basically said that uh, if you guys use a coupon code, uh, my coupon code, then they would give you guys a 10% discount and I would get commission, right? That, that's the deal that they offered to me. And I, I wrote back to them and I, this is what I said to them. I said, look, I don't care about the commission. Go ahead, give me zero, all right? Can you guys give my viewers a better discount? And what, what, they, what they said is they could give you guys a 20% discount using... Wampire as the coupon code, so W-M-P-Y-R, Wampire, right? Uh, and then it's, you buy it off of their website, which is www.security-umbrella.com, and when you purchase it, put in Wampire in there, and it should give you the 20% discount. So that was the best that I could do for you guys, you know? Um, uh, so anyway, just wanted to make sure I, I get that out and let you guys know about it all right so now let's let's talk about the eskrima technique here so what i want to do is the most basic most fundamental eskrima technique which here this is the eskrima size stick your typical it's actually a little bit shorter this is great for indoors and it's pvc so it's lighter uh, good for technique training right so anyway this is the most probably one of the most common Eskrima techniques is this number one strike, this diagonal down strike. And uh, you know, I, I think it's um, a lot of times underestimated because uh, when you just look at it, you go, okay, yeah, it's a slash, it's a diagonal down slash, okay, no big deal. When you actually train in the art, right? When you train in it, it's not here and it's not here, sideways. It's not horizontal, it's not sideways. Most people are used to the complete, the vertical and the horizontal. People are used to these kinds of, of attacks. But when a diagonal comes in, if you're not used to it, for a, a beginner, for, for someone that's not familiar with this kind of thing, it can kind of throw you off, this diagonal angle. So, it, you know, it's, it's like I said, I think a lot of people overlook this. So, this, no, we call it, in most Eskrima Filipino martial arts systems, this is our number one strike, okay? Uh, we call it angle number one in a lot of cases. So anyway, that's the one that I want to focus on. So with, with the security umbrella right here, I feel like if you hold it here and you try to do it, it's, it's just too heavy, too awkward. So then we're going to use the same concept as the nunchucks, which is the more, the closer you get to the center, the more control you have. So I, I recommend like holding it right around here, okay? So we hold it around here, we're gonna do this diagonal slash, right? Same as the stick. But when you do that, it's still awkward. So when you go like this and you do that, notice this happens right here, okay? So it's like come in with this diagonal slash, this wants to happen, I'm basically disarming myself. Okay, so one way to overcome that is as you do it, is to add this stopping hand. I don't have to grab it. I don't have to even have it ready right here. It's just, boom, it's a stopper right there. So just like that. So I, can, I get to do my diagonal attack, boom, and I just stop like so. And remember, you don't want to swing this big boy, okay? It's rather than swinging it, you want to pull. So I'm just pulling on the motion, makes it much faster, much more efficient, much quicker. So it's, you know, like a trucker. I'm just pulling it down, boom, like that. So pull it down and stop, okay? Now, uh, to go closer to an actual Eskrima uh, stick type strike where it's gonna be single-handed, right? I'm gonna go like so. Okay, and you, you might see that and go, well, that just looks like the normal diagonal down strike. It's a little bit different, all right? Uh, what's different about it is rather than going like this, 
which I, I still have that problem of this, but now I have a second problem because if, if I hit at the wrong time, which it can happen, then this in itself, because the weapon is heavier, I, it compromises my grip already. So it compromises my grip here, the moment of impact right there, and then after the follow through with all this momentum coming, it compromises my grip here. So two locations where I can compromise my grip. So instead what I did was rather than come this way, I'm coming here and I'm changing my hand to this, okay? So I'm coming here and right when I make that contact, see how I change, I flip my hand over. So essentially, this is the motion. I'm coming down this way. And you'll see this even with a light extreme stick. Okay, rather than going like this, which see if I if I come in forward, look, it's compromising my grip. You could see that it starts to right here. This is solid. As I push in, it starts to create space right here. Obviously. You could try this at home. Uh, and then the other part is when you come down here, you have to switch this around anyway. So that's what we do. We come here and we rotate. We rotate the hand. So what I'm doing is I'm just rotating the hand earlier. Upon impact, I'm rotating, rotating the hand because it's stronger. Grip-wise, gives me that strength. And you'll notice that if you train with multiple sticks, you train with heavier sticks. So this one's heavier, thicker. So when I go with this, uh, if I do normal type swinging, it, it's gonna, I feel drastically slower. So in this case, I make my grip like this and I do, I turn my hand much faster and then I can swing this stick around much better that way. So if you're used to, to doing that and you should, in your regular scrim of training, you should train with a different size and different weight sticks, right? So you'll know that that's, that's how to handle same thing with an improvised weapon. So right here, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna come here, boom. So I'm just rotating this much faster. So as you can see, even with one hand, no problem. And then now I can go into other tactics right here. But we'll get into that in, a, in another video. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care folks.